Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So, uh, we are back and um, I'm going to show you once it's daytime here. Actually, I think I'm the only one on right now, so I can actually... We just did an update and it's late in the weekday for me um, when recording this. And I think everyone's sleeping, so I went ahead and I got some wires going here. Originally I was using this power to help me slightly, but now the power is just being brought back here to power random things over here when I need it. But... Uh, I can flip it back and forth because I do have it connected over here to the the water wheel if I want, but it's not like I draw much power from the water wheel. Uh, anyway, so if we follow the line, I have it all the way going over here, and it's going to our uh, immersive engineer stuff here, and uh, so we can check this out here. So basically, uh, it's a little more uh, complex than what it was way before. So let's look at this garden. Garden... Cloth, cloche, cloche. It's made with iron mechanic, iron mechanical component, uh, treated wood, glass, and vacuum tube. Vacuum tube is a new one that we haven't done. We just made the engineer blueprint. Which one was this? Components, I think. Components. So this one here, you just you have to have aluminum, iron, and copper, and you just put this stuff in there, and boom, you're done. You need nickel plate, glass, copper wire, and redstone. You get the vacuum tube. Really simple recipe. And basically what we have is water going into this. Water acts like a fertilizer, basically. So it, it slowly eats this until it gets down to zero, 0 0.26 you see right now. And it'll get to 0, 0.0, I guess, or whatever. And then it just uses, I think, like a bucket of water to re-fertilize itself. You can use bone meal, for example, to get a slight uh, higher increase. I think it's like only like maybe 25%, but I'm happy with it right now. So I'm, I'm doing sugar cane, and you can see it goes into the silo over there. And then over here, I'm doing industrial hemp, which makes uh, the hemp, uh, the seeds, and then the hemp itself. And then they go, these are just little electric fences. They go over here, and uh, they go into, of course, the squeezer. And then uh, over here, it goes into the uh, this process here, the... Um, fermenter and then into the tank which is full might actually might add another couple tanks just just for the extra amount uh and then of course it goes into the diesel generator which then we can turn on whenever so so at 1.9 you just top it up basically you, you unless you have like a redstone comparator and stuff it's you can't just like easily have it magically top up on its own you're gonna have to uh use something uh, if you keep it on all the time like it's supposed to shut off when it doesn't draw anything but it you know like if you're using even one rf out of say the 4096 it produces a, a tick um one rf would waste the other 4095 rf a tick basically so it is highly highly recommended that you shut it off or you're just bleeding it away but at the same time this is pretty much infinite the only thing I can think of upgrading this is probably XNet and you can see I have a fluid pipe here power to it uh, there should be a lever somewhere oh yeah it's underneath it that's why and uh, yeah so it, it's just more fancy looks cool uh, you need to use a le lever just to uh, basically release them out of here oh interesting it comes out of the back there I didn't realize that weird <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you can do that, and it goes in here. One thing I did learn, though, which is a bit odd, is they will sit on the conveyor belt and not despawn. So I guess conveyor belts have a mechanic to prevent uh, them from despawning, but it will lag you. Uh, basically, if you don't have some sort of special setup done, it'll just keep spewing in here like no tomorrow, and then these belts will start lagging the, the server or the client, whatever you're playing. And, yeah, it would make a mess. So you want to be careful of that. But, uh, yeah, either way, it works well. It's pretty cool looking. Um, I will probably end up retiring this in the more shorter future. I might uh, consider doing some other changes to it, like using um, XNet. If I do use XNet, I might just, like, I don't know, do it in a nicer way, hide it or something. I, I haven't decided yet, but I uh, might leave the belts and everything, and then just put the XNet from behind and do it underground, just so it looks all fancy, but we'll see. We'll come up with something later on. So, yeah, there you go. That is, uh, that is that. And, yeah, this is the wire going there. Oh, yeah, I'm using a, a transformer here. I've never done the transformers before, but it's the HV transformer. So I have an HV line coming from here to there. And then it uses LV, basically, to connect everything. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. 
Then I got busy with some core samples over here. Now, I've, we've changed it a bit. Things aren't the same. I don't even know if I have where it is. Um, basically, let's go ahead and place this on the ground. And this is the core sample here. So let's place this. Are you... Okay, your output on all of them? Awesome. So this is just a charged up uh, battery. Has a certain amount of energy. Now, uh, we've changed the settings. And we did this before other people were at this. So Togi and I are basically the only two people who are doing this. And we both agreed that we needed to change some stuff. So crude oil, I found twice here. And then, just to give you an idea, there was another set of two crude oil. Don't know if it was over here or it's the other spot. Let's check this one here. Crude oil and crude oil, yeah. So basically, this entire thing. So crude oil there, crude oil he here, and crude oil there. Basically, that's like, you know, maybe 30, 40, 50 thousand buckets worth. And so we thought it was a little too common, so we wanted to nerf it a bit. So let's see if... It did get nerfed a bit. So here's our battery, 3.8. We've also changed this to use 128 RF a tick, as well as um, take 60 seconds, where before it took 10 seconds. So basically, we sped it up a bit just to, to just to make it a little bit more balanced and legit in our books. Um, and uh, only two of us are at this stage. And before we actually got there, we're not nerfing it after we've benefit. That's one thing we're not doing or trying to do. Uh, but rather, we're nerfing things as we go through the pack. Uh, as you know, we're finding, oh, that's a little too easy or you know, too powerful. And then we want to change it. So you can see the little thing going up at the top. I guess once that reaches all the way to the top or so, maybe then it's done. I'm not quite sure if it ha that's what happens. Does take sixty seconds, so it's like halfway in the thing now. I wonder if it was sitting in there for quite a while first, though. Huh. So yeah, it's probably gonna use like maybe two hundred k or something. Um, actually, we can calculate that while we wait. So it's gonna take uh, sixty seconds times twenty ticks, right? Times one hundred twenty. Eight, so it'll take one hundred and fifty-three thousand six hundred power during that time. And when it stops moving, you're done, and you'll get this core piece, which oddly enough seems to be the same as what we had. Which I'm actually beyond surprised. I wonder if it actually changed the metal, huh? I wonder if they're baked in that world. Then you can't change the settings after. Well, eh, whatever, not a big deal. Um, but anyways, there you go. So uh, yeah, there you go. Crude oil. And then you go, you check this one over here. Now, I hope these change, but maybe they don't get updated either. We have one piece of ore over here, but uh, I'm not sure if this will be updated properly then, because this one was really powerful. So this one was, if we pick this up, this piece of uh, material up, basically what it was giving us was uh, expected yield 2,000. Oh, okay, it looks like it's updated. 200 and 2560 ore. So if you do the calculation, 2560 divided by 64, that's 40 ores, uh, 40 stacks of ores. And that's kind of what uh, we agreed on. It uh, seemed fair. I know some people might not seem think that's fair or they wouldn't want that. But at the same time, our pack is not about infinite, godly amount of freebie resources out of thin air. We want people to work for it, so it takes time and effort, and that that's sort of the idea. So, yeah, this is the core sample drill, so I'll just tr show you what that is. S core sample drill, and lots of steel scaffolding, light engineering block, more steel fence, and things like that. What I'm going to do between now and the next episode is I'm going to find, this is water, you can see. Uh, what I'm going to try to find is actual lava, and I think I'm going to do some geothermal generators for fun. Just something to do on the side. Eventually, we'll get into crude oil, and we'll process it and use it as well. But uh, I'm a little way uh, ways from that. Uh, in fact, what I want to do is get into miners. Uh, the, uh, the, the miners in, um, what, what do you call it, uh, IC2. But uh, I need more power. Uh, or sorry, I need more power. Yes, I do need more power. I need more um, crystals, basically, because it costs an MFSU to make. And Lapatron crystals are expensive. That's 40 diamonds, basically, to make the full thing. Um, and I don't have 40 diamonds. Um, I know you can make it through coal, though. I think there's a bug right now not letting you, or maybe I have to look at that. But either way... Um, yeah, I was thinking I might have to fix that. Can I make... Oh, no, you can make a diamond. 
it's regular diamond. They don't do industrial diamonds anymore. That must be Tech Reborn doing the Ore Dictionary on the other one. Uh, but basically, if you go through all this, it's the equivalent of one uh, one um, stack of regular coal would create that. So we got nine. How many stacks we got? Let's go nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Let's let's actually do the math on that. Fourteen times. So you got to do fourteen, and then times. Da, 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 da. Why am I thinking funny here? Fourteen times. Mm, 64 times 9. There you go. Divided by 64. So I have maybe 120 something diamonds in total there. But actually what you could use is... Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I got tons of this. And I have no use for it actually. So actually all this would probably be good for diamonds. Don't know why I didn't think about that before. Uh, now you need some flint though for this recipe. That is one thing I don't have any of. Um, yes, yeah, so if you need flint with it. Yeah, you have to have flint with it. I got some flint, but I have very little flint compared to what you need. Oh, there's the flint there. Oh, we'll make it for fun just to show you what it is. So there you go. Uh, nine. How many of these am I going to need? I guess nine of these? Yeah, nine of them. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, you can press that. There you go. Nine. Oh, we'll do 18. 27. There you go. So actually, now I just realized this is actually a really good way to get diamonds. I was thinking, oh man, all this is kind of a waste, but I didn't think about that at all. So we can put the the uh, coal uh, ball in here into the compressor. That sounds funny. A coal ball. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have to find uh, more flint. Flint's from gravel, of course. Uh, we have no recipe. We're going to add a recipe for flint later on. Um, we're not flint for per se, but we're going to add a, a recipe for gravel into the industrial grinder because we feel like we need a, a better method of producing uh, gravel over time because we just we really don't have a good method of it. So uh, let's see here. So we got the compressor going. Let's go ahead and get it some upgrades here for a bit so we can have it run while we're doing other stuff. Okay, so we got the industrial electrolyzer. We made this originally. I don't know if you guys remember, but we had actually made one of these uh, originally, and I think it was for the grinder, I think we had to make it for. Um, industrial oh, uh, electrolyzer. There you go. I think it was the grinder. Yeah, okay, we needed it for the grinder. And so we never actually used it. But basically, I've put all my different materials in here. I'll show you the recipes here, uh, what I've put in here basically. So, so far what I've been putting in here is some of the byproducts that we originally got, which was, here you go, mostly ruby dust, uh, sapphire dust, and one of the other garnets or whatever as well. And basically it's produced uh, some chrome, which we'll use over time. And uh, actually, chrome is pretty expensive material that you need later on. Requires industrial uh, blast furnace. It requires 530,000 EU, and it takes 221 seconds to make one single one. So it's a, a very long and expensive process. So honestly, I should be probably just getting this going and let it run. It will take a while, but it'll be well worth it. So there you go. And we have enough heat, of course, for that. So... There you go. So that's the elect industrial electrolyzer. We basically put our junk in there. We have also a crap ton of aluminum. Uh, so we're never going to be short on aluminum, that's for sure. We'll just throw that in there. Might need some of it later. You can actually electrolyze, I think, aluminum. Or maybe it was centrifuge. Let's see. Uh, blast furnace. Oh, no, maybe you can't. I thought there was a recipe for that. I've noticed this recipe. You put it with gasoline and make napalm. I think that's a little more uh, violent for my uh, needs right now, but it's for the chemical thrower, so. <laughs> I guess you would need uh, an insane amount of it. Okay, so maybe what I can make today is the industrial centrifuge. Now, I might not get the full thing made up because I think it's a multi-block structure, 
but since we got some of the basic materials, why not, right? Let's 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 play around with it and see what we can come up with. Uh, at least we've done all the machine blocks or whatever, so I can do that part off camera, and we can just get the machine placed and be like, ah, so that's what it is. So let's first start with uh, some plates here. You know, I should have some aluminum plates. There you go. And we need some advanced circuits. I should have a few of those. And we've got lots of other circuits in here. If I decide to do more solar panels, etc. later on. Uh, so advanced uh, machine casings. I probably don't have any of those. I don't even know if I have regular machine casings at this point. I'm trying to look in there and I don't really see them. So we might need to make more. There you go. Ah, let's just make... There you go. So if we're going to do that, we're going to need you guys. We're going to need you guys. Where are you? There you go. We're going to need two of those. Oh, and we're going to need dense plates. Oh, crap. I have four, but I don't actually have enough for this. So We'll just go to the compressor. So we're going to have to make four more. And then we can take these guys and put them in a recipe. I think you can do it with this kind of stone, but I'll have to check here. Okay. One more to do. Okay, we'll keep this because we're kind of low. We have more steel in here, actually. I've been going off of a steel block, so... We are kind of, in my opinion, still low on steel, so I don't want to go too crazy with it. Okay. Uh, did I not pick up the car? Oh, I put the carbon plate. I've done that a few times. Put the carbon plates uh, down there. Or not the carbon plates, but anything. And screw up the recipe. Okay, so they got that done. Okay, so all we have to do is make uh, the tree taps and the electronic circuit, which we already have. So let's see where the electronic circuits are. we got a million of them. Wait, it's a single electronic circuit. And then we're going to need some wood. And then, yeah, so we'll need to make some tree taps here. One, two, three, and four. And then, there we go. So extractor and the industrial centrifuge. Oh, and we put all our advanced circuits away. Oops, one, two. There we go. And there she is. Okay, let's get our wrench for this one, just because we're going to probably need it. I assume it's going to be a multi-block structure, so first let's place it down and see what we got here. Um, so, actually, no, it's not a multi-block structure, and it only takes 32 EU a tick. Ooh, you don't want to mess with that, because that would uh, go boom on us if we did. Okay, so we do have a small spot stuck over here. Probably not the most fancy spot, but we could put it over here. Um, like I said, not really the most fancy spot, but, uh, at least we get to, uh, see it in action. <laughs> hmm, I'm wondering if there's a better way of doing this right now. This is the alloy smelter. You know what? Let's get rid of it for now. There you go. And then we'll put the industrial centrifuge here. Let's just confirm. So input rate 32 tier low. So, yeah. So this must be kind of a, a slower block than anything. And then what we can actually do for this is we can, since I don't use this one often anyways, I can, oh crap, got stuck in there. We can go ahead and just put the alloy one right here and just use it on demand. There you go. There you go. So if we check the recipes on here, there is an insane amount of recipes. 51 recipes, in fact. Um, there are some recipes that you will want to use over time. There's some you won't want to use. Uh, for example, this is a good recipe if you have a lot of redstone. Uh, basically, what you can do is you can turn your redstone into pyrite dust, ruby dust, mer mercury cells, and silicon cel uh, cells. So that could be pretty useful. Here's one for helium and sulfur. So yeah, you basically... Uh, well, it's a centrifuge, so you kind of like break down a lot of the components out of it, right? They do these in labs and stuff like this in real life. Uh, red garnet dust. A lot of these you won't use, but a lot of them you might use over time. And I think I still have something worthwhile for centrifuging. Yeah, I think it's bauxite, actually. And I think it's just a shit ton of aluminum. Oh, yeah. Aluminum, small titanium. Ooh, titanium dust might be useful. Hydrogen. Hydrogen might be useful later on. Uh... Yeah, because you can make deuterium out of it. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. 
So you can make deuterium cells out of that, and deuterium can be used in a fusion control. Yeah, so here you go. Uh, in a f uh, fusion uh, reactor, you can use this to create some power. But it says starting. Doesn't sound like a lot because starting is 40 million EU. So I think what you have to do is actually put 40 million EU into the fusion reactor. Then it will produce 32k uh, EU a tick for 1,024 ticks. So let's let's calculate that out. So 1,024 ticks times 32,000 equals 32 million. So it actually does not pay itself back, but but before you get too upset, what you could do is look at what helium plasma is useful. And helium and plasma, uh, well, actually, it doesn't look like it has much of a use for us here. Um, helium cell, uh, helium plasma can be used for Naquita. Here I thought there was another use for it, but there might not be. Oh, here you go. You turn it into a helium cell. And then you turn it into, oh, okay. You know what? There isn't much of a use for it. I'm actually surprised by that, I have to admit. I was expecting something a little more exciting. So four of them, deuterium, and then fusion control, you turn that into helium plasma. For some reason, I thought that would work in the plasma generator. Here's helium-3 itself. Huh. Plasma. I wonder if the recipe is just missing. Oh, hel helium plasma. There you go. There you have it. So helium plasma itself makes 8 million uh, 8.192 million EU, which is a bit funny because with that math, wouldn't that mean this basically makes the same amount that you produced? Yeah, so I'm not quite sure how that works, to be honest. Because it requires 40 million to start the reaction. Unless if you get to hold on to that 40 million. I don't know. Anyways... Uh, this will be worth uh, processing anyway. So let's go ahead and get rid of our materials here. Oh yeah, we were going to try this out. I think you put this surrounding this. Okay, I did that wrong. And 918... Oh, I did 9. Uh, I did that too many times, didn't I? Okay, so you got this, and then you have to put it be around a block. Brick, obsidian... Okay, so brick is probably the best one to use, to be honest. Kind of cheaper for our, our needs. We can do a lot of brick anyways here because we can do it in here. There you go. There you go. So I accidentally derped up. I thought you can use... I don't know why I thought you can use stone brick. There you go. And we'll use that. There you go. And there you have it. So you get the coal chunk and then I think you can press that again. Yep. Yeah. So we go into the compressor, and there you go. So we just created three diamonds through some of the insane amount of coal dust we have. So I might actually create some sort of automation of this later on and show you how I did it. But hey, you know what? It's a good way to get rid of it. All you have to do is produce uh, 64 for a diamond, and this whole setup basically creates that. So it's not so bad because each slag gives you a bunch of char uh, coal dust, so five of them so let's do this 64 64 divided by five is 12.8 so basically every 13 steel you create you get a free diamond it's a bit weird and then probably diamond i probably steal you could probably like do something with it i wonder if you can i don't know if you can back engineer it into iron but uh there probably is a way if you really tried Oh, if you macerate a piece of steel, you get iron dust. So basically, you could loop this and create infinite amount of diamonds. You would have to have power. It's a very slow process. But that's a very, very, very interesting mechanic that they have built into the uh, the game. Probably won't do it quite that way. I feel that would be personally cheap for myself. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's get rid of this, this... And then we'll just get rid of this junk down here. Excellent. And then, yeah, we're going to eat some chests here. So let's get this done. And I want more than this, but uh, I don't think I'm going to win too much. Let's, let's upgrade it slightly. Let's do that. We've got tin. We've got silver. We've got 
gold, and we need iron. There you go. We'll do a bit of an upgrade on these guys. So we'll, we'll upgrade it to iron. And then we'll upgrade it to silver. Not that I'm low on silver. I, I just be, I'm being a little lazy here. I have to make more in plates or whatever. And then they're gold. And we'll just put this right here. And then right here. And then we'll get rid of these plates and we'll get some of the bauxite here and start centrifuging it down. There you go. Now you're going to need more than just center uh, this because you require to do more with it, right? So if we look here, we have to... Oh, it's electrolyzer. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's the uh, other stuff, I guess. Oh, I don't know why I thought that. I guess it's the other stuff you do that. That's even better. Well, the electrolyzer is already set up to make my life easy, so... I can't really argue with that. So let's put that in there. There we go. Ah, that works. Yeah, I don't know why I, I thought that was something different. I guess I derped up there. Okay. Might as well put the dust over here. It's kind of a byproduct, especially when you don't have enough to really work with or whatever. Okay, there you go. I don't know why. So I made the centrifuge, and I haven't even found a reason for it yet. Um, some of this might actually work in there. I don't know. So compressed air, you can get rid of compressed air by, well, you can use it. For example, make some other chemicals with it and stuff. You can make water, nitrogen, but you need some other stuff like nitrogen, of course. Um, or what you can do, which doesn't look like, oh, that was IC, I think. I think you could use to put it in an extractor or something. You used to just extract the air and work. But I have a feeling that does not work with these. I think that was a IC2 uh, recipe. Where's an extractor? Here you go. Yeah, you can't put this in. But I'm pretty sure I could be wrong, but yeah, air cell. There you go. So you can't do it with this compressed air, unfortunately, but you could put it in a bottler and then just void it out. So I might do something like that later uh, and just void it because who, who wants a million stacks of compressed air cells, right? Uh, so I'll probably do that later on. So if you look, you can do the bottler here. And I'll just show it. So bottler, you put it in here. And then what you do with the bottler is there is a nullifier. So if we go nullifier, you can see there's a fluid nullifier. It acts as a fluid. So you just build this simple setup here. And uh, what is that? Chiseled stone? Is it just stone? I could try stone and cobblestone. Let's see here. Uh, stone. And then it was, oh, it was cobblestone, I think. And then an ender pearl. There you go. And then we should be able to make the fluid nullifier. I don't know why this stone doesn't work. Oh, because it's considered stone brick and the other stuff was just stone, I guess. Okay. There you go. Fluid nullifier. There you go. So this basically... You, you you basically put your thing in there and it does it. I wonder if I can right click it here. Oh god. I have a feeling that that just was not supposed to happen. Oh wow. I never expected compressed air to be a liquid. I mean, probably technically shouldn't be, but it's just the way the mod is. You know, it makes me want to make an entire lake, uh, lake of this just for fun. Just like, yeah. But anyways, you would use your bottler in there, and you're going to have to power it up with the bottler. Um, yeah, but uh, something I'll do off camera and play around with later on when, when I care. Right now, I actually don't care enough to do this, so. but I wanted to show you that it is possible to do. Uh, last thing I want to tell you today is I went into the nether. And uh, or end sorry, and um, I went to the end islands. I was going to record, but I was a little tired. Didn't want to do it at that time, so I got some few things, chorus fruit. But basically, in the end, we already got these ores. But um, over time, you get ores from the end, of course. So industrial grinder, you get solidite and uh, um, sodalite and uh, aluminum dust, and then you got sheldonite, which is probably the most powerful one out there, which basically gives you uh, platinum nickel and uh, iridium nuggets or if you use mercury you get a little bit more platinum platinum itself it doesn't really have much of a use at this point um, originally we were going to give it more of a use but we decided not to 
mostly due to the fact that um, it was very, very, very powerful use. Basically, what it would provide you was more iridium. And we didn't want more and more iridium uh, usages or, uh, sorry, uh, methods of producing it. So we felt like, you know what, two iridium nuggets is more than enough. So mercury, you're not going to get more than that. I don't see a point on doing that recipe then. Um, you got the peridot ore. So industrial grinder, peridot, small peridot, small emerald. Um, the peridot dust, of course, you can go in here, industrial grinder. And then I guess you can do industrial... Uh, yeah, electrolyzer, and uh, basically magnesium, iron dust, silicon, and compressed air. Kind of your boring stuff. And then tungsten, which I think might provide something useful. Tungsten dust, iron dust, and magnesium, tiny ones. And tungsten dust is actually really needed, uh, so I'll get that in here over time. It'll get uh, you, you tungsten ingot, and you can make it an electrolyzer, wolf frame. But the tungsten itself will then later on be combined with a tungsten ingot and steel ingot. But you need 3,000 heat. So we're going to have to actually upgrade that uh, big unit. And that's actually what the chrome is in there for. That chrome will be used for the upgrades. Anyways, you'll upgrade that uh, with hot tungsten ingot. and Or sorry, uh, tungsten and steel ingot. And you'll get a hot tungsten ingot. And then that hot tungsten ingot you'll put into... Uh, vacuum freezer, which I think is a multi-block structure. So it sit in this vacuum freezer for I don't know how long, and it'll cool it. And then you got a tungsten steel ingot, and this is pretty much one of the most powerful blocks. It makes the aqua stuff, uh, but it also makes uh, a lot of different things like the plasma generator, energy acceptor in applied energistics. It actually means that I could look into AE2 now. Uh, it does a whole bunch of things. Basically, it's also used for all the different recipes for uh, apply, uh, applied energistics. So basically, once you have this, you can do that. You can also make an electric boat. Uh, you can make your jetpack and everything. Now, the jetpack, yeah, you might say, oh, you can make a jetpack. Not quite there yet, though, um, mostly because you need the RTG. So we're going to have to look into getting into IC2 reactors, making a nuclear reactor. Then we can make plutonium. Uh, basically, plutonium is when you get it through running it through the thermal centrifuge, you take your depleted um, uranium rods, basically, and you uh, thermal centrifuge them, and then you can get your uh, different things. You'll get your uranium-238, and then you get your tiny pile of plutonium over time, and uh, definitely worth it. So uh, the ones we'd probably do, yeah, quad cell here and then you got your tiny plutonium and there's different reactor designs as well there's reactor designs that are meant for um basically making as much plutonium as possible there's reactor designs uh providing you very little power but long time power or ones that give you a lot of power there's a lot of setup so i'll probably do one that just gives me some power unless if i can really dupe it and get a good amount of power. I might just go with one with power and just hopefully mine more uranium over time. Though I don't have a ton of uranium, but uh, there you go. Two and a bit stacks, so not too bad. So, yeah, between now and the next episode, I'll probably spend a lot of time mining. And I might look for uh, lava as well, so I can consider doing a pump jack for that. And then uh, we can go from there. So let's see if the actual thing changed here. I'm a little interested if this changed or not. Because I was worried that these would all change, but it doesn't look like they have changed, no. Yeah, so it's still saying this is a Castorite uh, vein. Interesting, okay. So that's good news. I guess our world didn't change. At the same time, it's kind of bad news because it gets all the veins saved in the same location. So I was hoping if you changed and adjusted that, they would kind of warp around, but maybe it's world dependent. So anyways, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we will see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.